And this morning, we are catching up with one of Dateline NBC's most notorious subjects. Not saying something. Oh, yeah. You might remember Russ Faria. Back in 2013, he was wrongfully convicted for the murder of his wife, Betsy, and was later exonerated. Then focus quickly shifted to Betsy's closest friend, Pam Hupp. So many twists, so many turns, Dateline and podcast episodes later, this true crime story inspired the NBC limited series called The Thing About Pam, starring Renee Zellweger as Pam. Well, tonight is Dateline's sixth episode on the saga that started with one murder, then to a second and possibly a third, all with Pam somehow connected. Take a look. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here she is, the real Pam Hupp. The story that began in Little Troy, Missouri, not far from St. Louis, when a man named Russ Faria arrived home to discover the body of his wife, Betsy. I just got home from a friend's house, and, and my wife, my wife. Stabbed 56 times. Russ quickly became the prime suspect, in part because of what Pam Hupp was telling police. He's very degrading to her. And he makes comments about how much money he'll have after she's gone. Police looked at Russ from the beginning, but Pam Hupp's stories helped convict him. And after Russ was acquitted at a second trial, Pam shot and killed a man in an effort to once again frame Russ. To show that, hey, I had nothing to do with that case. And look how bad he wants me to go down for it. Hmm. Bad enough to hire somebody to kill me. And then there was a strange and untimely death of Pam's mother. Strange events, but not a static story. There have been, as we say, developments. We have filed uh, murder charges in the first degree against Pamela Hupp in the stabbing death of Betsy Faria. Pam has pleaded not guilty. The real people in the Dateline True Crime Story, number one podcast, and hit NBC miniseries have new things to share, including Mariah, Betsy's daughter, speaking to Dateline for the first time. I've never experienced loss before my mom. And prosecutor Leah Askey, whose work on the case got her thrown out of office in a county election. They act like I have horns and I just came out after this guy. And that's not what occurred at all. And now... You still believe he's guilty, don't you? So what's the thing about Pam? People are dead. And the story isn't over. Quite the rest. Okay. Well, joining us now, I am fully in here, is the man who's followed this story from the beginning. Dateline's Keith Morrison, the man with the voice. Good morning to you. Hey, Keith. Keith. Good morning. How are you today? We're doing good. Uh, first, we have to ask, you know, what do you make of the audience reaction uh, to this story? I mean, the, the miniseries was phenomenal. Uh, Renee did such a fantastic job transforming into Pam. What do you make of it, Keith? She really did. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's, it's uh, you know, they, they put their tongue firmly in their cheek to do this. <laughs> uh, it, it, it takes a kind of a scappish attitude toward the uh, toward this very serious story mm -hmm. uh, and that's fine I think that's probably the way it needed to be done um, I'm glad it did well I thought that they were um, you know how how these um, these scripted series will say it's based on a true story mm -hmm. well it's pretty darn close to the yeah. true story yeah. I think they were careful about staying as close as they could and Keith yeah. you said this the story is not over so what where are the the, the actual people in the story now I mean, what, what's happening <laughs> developments continue uh, well uh, Pam uh, has been charged with the murder of Betsy Faria now and that trial is uh, upcoming mm. uh, an investigation is continuing into the death of, of Pam's mother uh, Pam was the last person with her before uh, she somehow went off her balcony and wound up uh, mm. Mm. with 14 times the dose of Ambien in her system and uh, dead on her on her lawn. Mm. Uh, so that sort of thing is continuing. Uh, Leah Askey is finally speaking up, as you saw, and we had a fascinating conversation. went on for over three hours. Hmm. Uh, some of which we'll be able to put on television tonight. In fact, Keith, you're, you're going to be, we, as you mentioned, you're going to be talking with uh, Leah Askey. It's the first time she's, she's spoken. Yeah. Uh, in that conversation, what, what surprised you when, you when you actually got to sit down with her? Well, you know, you, you, you kind of expect after all of this time has gone by and these new developments have occurred and uh, 
information has emerged that maybe wasn't available in the same way before, that perhaps uh, there would be a kind of a change of attitude and about the case. Um, I, I'm not sure there has been. She still thinks um, the husband you know, did we it? Had a, we had a lovely conversation, mm -hmm. but... Well, you'll have to you'll have to see. But um, oh, it's, and, and do you it's think fascinating how, how Keith, her opinion? Keith, do you think been, there'll be a second series? Solid. You think there'll be a second series since there's so much still to to cover? Maybe. <laughs> you know, I would have said no, but we have now. This will be our sixth time wow. to put this uh, story on television uh, tonight, and and it's fresh. It's new. I mean, yeah, all mm -hmm. of this is. Pretty much new yeah. stuff. People yeah. are intrigued it, the, in, by real life, yeah. sometimes more mm -hmm. than fiction. Thank you, Keith. It's the best. Uh, thanks yes. for joining us. Oh, the, the, it's, it's very true. Yeah, yeah, the real thing about Pam airs tonight at 9, 8 central right here on NBC. And all six episodes of the scripted miniseries inspired by these events are available on Peacock from our parent company, NBC Universal. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.